Let's go. And you will say, oh. Saturday, March 20, 2021, and this is your life boy today. The life boy today is always with you, even during the weekend, to make sure that you're anchored to Christ, you stay afloat in all the waters of life, and that any danger ahead of you is already indicated to you from the scriptures so that you can avoid them. And as usual, we'll be taking our lessons and our prayer points from the daily fountain the Daily Devotional Guide of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. We've been reading about the story of Esther and King Ahasuerus and Haman who plotted to kill Mordecai and the rest of the Jews and all that. And we are continuing that story today and the topic is Ahasuerus executes Haman. That's the king executes Haman. We are reading the book of Esther Chapter 7, and we're reading quickly from verse 1 to verse 10. So the king and Haman came to banquet with Esther the queen. And the king said again unto Esther on the second day at the banquet of wine, What is thy petition, Queen Esther? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? And it shall be performed, even so to the half of the kingdom. Then Esther the queen answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and it pleased the king, let my life be given me at my petition, and my people at my request. For we are sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. But if we had been sold for the bondmen and bondwomen, I had held my tongue, and although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Then the king Ahasuerus answered and said unto Esther the queen, who is he, and where is he, that dost presume in his heart to do so? And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And the king, arising from the banquet of wine in his wrath, went into the palace garden, and Haman stood up to make request for his life to Esther the queen. So he saw, for he saw that there was evil determined against him by the king. Then the king returned out of the palace garden into the place of the banquet of wine, and Haman was falling upon the bed whereon Esther was. Then said the king, Will he force the queen also before me in this house? As the word went out of the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. And Abona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows, fifty cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king, standeth in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him thereon. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. And that is how Ahasuerus executed Haman at the bequest of Queen Esther. More for the sake of Queen Esther saving herself, Mordecai, and the rest of the Jews from the gallows. It is good to sow good seeds. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows is what he is going to reap. That's in Galatians 6, verse 7. You sow good, you will reap good. You sow evil, you will, read, you will reap the evil in multiples. And you know, it always interests me. You know, because I'm always in the midst of politicians 
and there is a common proverb, at least amongst those of my own constituency, that when you dig a ditch for your political enemy, make sure it is not too deep, because you never can tell. You may cross carpets from one party to another one day, you know, and then all those ditches that you had dug, you just find yourself going into them. But aside of that, we have also had many folk stories of people who had sought to do evil unto others, maybe to kill the children of others with poison, and then their own children end up eating the poison. We've read and learned about people who had purposed to harm others in so many other ways, and then the harm had always come back to them. Are you planning to execute somebody? Are you already executing people? Hey, execution is not always with the gallows. How many people have you executed with your tongue today? Do you know the day you stop executing people with your tongue? That is the day you are going to be executed with, by the tongue of others. How many people have you executed with other plots and evil schemes just to outsmart them? Is that what God expects of you? Stop all these schemes and bad moves just to hurt others. Stop the execution that you are doing with your backbiting and your gossips and all those evil things that you are saying about the other people that you know are not true. Just because you want that other person to fall into a ditch. You better get back into a reconciliation with God now so that you will not be executed like Ahasuerus the king executed Haman. If you don't understand what we are saying, we are saying that, first of all, get to understand how it is to be on the side of the king of kings and then do his will that you will not be executed. If you are not already on the side of the king of kings, you better quickly say these prayers after me so that you will not be executed by all those that are planning evil in life. Oh God, I have come before you today. I am afraid of being executed by evil plots of others. And I am afraid that perhaps I had done evil in times past too. I come to you now. I ask for forgiveness that my evil past will not catch up with me. And like that thief that was on one of the sides of Jesus on the day that he was being executed, that repented and was granted life in the kingdom. Today, begin to grant me my own life in the kingdom, that I will reign with you forevermore in Jesus' name. I pray for you that God will take you into the kingdom and let you be far from the execution of others in Jesus' name. But if you've been part of the kingdom all along, you know sometimes you have even fallen back one way or the other into doing that which is not good. You better say this prayer after me. Lord, please help me to sow good seeds while I live that I may not plot evil for others. That I may stop anything that has to do with gossip, backbiting, and evil plots for others in the mighty name of Jesus. And I also pray that no evil plot of any man to execute me, my spouse, my children, or anybody that is beloved of me will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. But rather, that whatever gallows that they have set for me will be used to execute them unless they repent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Go out today. Be sure that it is well with you and none can execute any evil upon you. But be careful also. Do not plan any evil to execute against anybody. God bless you. You are good You're good, we call you God, you're good Even when it doesn't seem like you're good, you're good Shana Coast You are good